Pokemon levels are a lie! You all may have noticed that I've been pretty interested in the topic of Pokemon damage recently. I've picked apart the damage formula more times than I can count, which is apparently three. But today, we're doing it again. In the comments of a previous video, commenter Miscavis posed a very interesting question. In Gen 9 singles, is it possible for a level 1 Pokemon to one-shot a level 100 Pokemon? And the answer is no. At least, not that I could find in the one day that I had to research and write this video, but if I bust out the whiteout and just, uh, just do a little bit of that right there, get that, and there we go, suddenly we got a video on our hands. Today, I find out how a level one Pokemon can one-shot a level 100 Pokemon in the modern games without using something like Destiny Bond or something because that's cheating. Richard! Hit that intro. So, we all know that the level of your Pokémon is pretty important, but the question remains, how important? And the answer is very. It, it's super important, it's exactly what you were expecting. Not only does your level have a major direct impact on your base stats, it also gets plugged right into the damage formula itself, so any Pokemon attacking at level 1 is already at a serious disadvantage. Pulling up the damage formula, you'll see that it's split into two major sections. There's this first bit here with all the parentheses and the big old plus two at the end. Because we're at level one, we're pretty limited on what we can do here. Even if we find a move with insane base power, this part here with the level and this part here where you take your attack stat and divide it by the target's defense stat are going to be pretty low and really limit what we can do. So instead, we're going to want to focus on the second section out there, all these different multipliers and stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here that I've already talked about in previous videos, so if you want to learn more, you should go check this video out. But but wait until you're done with this one, because YouTube has a nasty little habit of banishing videos to the Shadow Realm when people click off partway through, and well... I mean, I'd rather not go there. So with that in mind, let's run through a couple of scenarios and see what we can do, shall we? Also, keep in mind that normally when I do a video like this, there's only one right answer for something like the least possible damage, and I try my best to figure out what that one correct answer is. But for this one, I'm sure that there are a bunch of different possible combos to get a level 1 Pokemon to one-shot a level 100, so if you know of any others besides the one I have in this video, then let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so my first thought was to look up which Pokemon in Gen 9 has the lowest HP. We're not going to be able to do a ton of damage no matter how you slice it, so we need someone who will set the bar as low as possible for us. Quickly looking into it, Diglett and his weird friend Wiglet both have a base HP stat of just 10, meaning that at level 100, they will have anywhere from 130 to 220 total hit points. I'm going to assume that they're on the low end of that spectrum. Both Pokemon have the same base defense stats, but Wiglet has a lower special defense stat, so let's start there. Wiglet is a water type, meaning we want a very strong grass or electric type so we can get super effective damage. The strongest Pokemon in the game that fits the bill is Iron Hands, aka Paradox Hariyama. Why someone in the distant future thought the world needed a robot version of this thing with taser hands, we may never know. However, this is Generation 9 we're talking about here, so with the introduction of Terra types, we could technically make any Pokemon any type we want. Heck, we could even change Wiglet's typing. This opens up Pokemon like Slacking and Palafin to us, who both have much higher attack stats than Iron Hands. But remember, the attacking Pokemon needs to be level 1, and Slacking and Palafin are both fully evolved, meaning that Unless you're some sick hacker or something, there's no way you could get one at level 1. So as cool as it would be to use some sick Terra type changing, it just so happens that Iron Hands has the strongest attack stat of any basic Pokemon anyway. That isn't a legendary, I don't know, I kind of feel like cheating.
Lance has a base attack of 140, which at level 1 translates to an in-game attack stat of, at most, 8-8? Eight, eight? Yikes, okay, I knew it was gonna be, I knew it was gonna be low, but... 8? The strongest electric attack that Iron Hands can learn is Wild Charge, which has a base power of 90. If we assume that Wiglet has the lowest possible defense stat, and Iron Hands has the highest possible attack stat, then this whole first part here, without any multipliers, comes out to be 11. Slap a choice band on Iron Hands, and that number jumps up to 60. Oh, did I slap him a little too hard? Oh. I forgot he's level one. So all we need to do is find a way to get an eight times multiplier on here and we're good. So right off the bat, electric is super effective on water. So already we've doubled our damage. Iron Hands is also an electric type, meaning any electric attack it uses will deal 1.5 times more damage. However, if we assume that our Iron Hands has electric for its Terra type and is terrestrialized, then this jumps up to a 2 times multiplier. If we assume the attack is a critical hit, it gets multiplied by 1.5 times again. Throw a helping hand on there for another 1.5 times boost, and there you go. We're up to 136 points of damage, which is enough to one-hit KO a level 100 Wiglet. Sometimes. Anyone who's played Pokemon before will know that there's a bit of randomness when it comes to damage. That's because whenever you deal damage, the game generates a random number between 85 and 100, which it then turns into a decimal multiplier. We just calculated what the damage would be if you got lucky and got the highest possible roll on damage, but in reality, with this setup, you'll only one hit KO the Wiglet one in every five times. Except you also need it to be a critical hit, which has a roughly 6% chance of happening itself. So in reality, the chances of both of these things happening at the same time is just a hair above one in every 100 attacks. But fear not, my friend, for we are only on page two of this script. There are many tools in my belt that I have yet to bust out. You may have noticed in these damage videos that abilities can, uh, they can be a little, just, just a wee bit broken sometimes. In the past, I've used the move Skill Swap a lot to get cool abilities onto Pokemon that shouldn't have them, but unfortunately, after the great Dexit incident of 2019, Skill Swap is no longer usable in Gen 9. So while I would have loved to get an ability onto Iron Hands to boost its attack, like Cork Drive or something, I wait a minute! It already has Quark Drive! I know Delibird is supposed to be the Christmas Pokemon, but Taser Hands keeps on giving! Quark Drive is the signature ability of all the future-based Paradox Pokemon, and it increases the user's highest stat by 30% when they're in an electric terrain, an effect which also just so happens to increase the damage of all electric moves by 50% on top of that. Based on our setup, attack will be Iron Hand's highest stat by a lot. So all we need to do is set up electric terrain earlier in the battle, and suddenly the minimum possible damage we can deal, once again assuming it's a crit, jumps up to 192, which is more than enough to one-shot a level 100 Diglett, even if it had the maximum possible HP. <laughs> However, that's still assuming that we landed a critical hit, which, remember, only happens 6% of the time. Without that 1.5 times boost, a wild charge deals anywhere between 128 and 152 points of damage, which is probably enough to one-shot, but there's still a 12% chance that Wiglet will survive. And also, I kind of forgot to mention it earlier, but Wild Charge has a recoil, so whenever you use it, you take one-fourth of the damage you dealt. Iron Hands has a maximum of 15 health at level 1, so no matter what, you're going down to recoil, even if you do one-shot the Wiglet, which <laughs> doesn't exactly sound like a win to me. But alas, I've, I've exhausted every tool. Abilities, items, allies... Everything has been used to its fullest, and still, we come up short. Even if you do everything right, you still only have a coins toss chance of a one-shotting that level 100 behemoth. And, and even if you do, you won't be alive much longer yourself to claim the glory. 
But sometimes, sometimes the best we can do is just hope. As Greek historian Plutarch once said, glory is nice, but uncertain. Now, this was a serious blow, but, but after coming to terms with that, I, I think I just have one last question. Do I look like a fool to you, Plutarch? Some might be content to bend to the fickle whims of fate, but not me. I refuse to believe that the best we can do is just a chance. I will find the combo, no matter how convoluted, that allows a level 1 Pokemon to one-shot a level 100 Pokemon if it kills me. Which, you know, I don't see how it could, it's just math, but I'll do it! Okay, so first, Wild Charge is out. There's no way to avoid the recoil damage without sacrificing its ability or something, and I want our David to be standing tall over its Goliath. There aren't a ton of great physical electric moves, so Thunder Punch would be our next best bet, but it's significantly weaker and not really going to do much for us. But, but, but then what can we do? Well, what if I told you that the last tool we needed, the linchpin that ties this whole thing together, is something that I already brought up, something that I tossed aside, not knowing its true purpose. I said earlier in the video that while we could use terrestrialization to use any Pokemon we wanted besides Iron Hands and Wiglet, we didn't need to. Iron Hands has the highest attack of any basic Pokemon, Wiglet has the lowest HP and defense, and Iron Hands is already super effective, so I mean, we were good. Now, that is technically true, but just because we don't use terrestrialization to try and use a better Pokemon, that doesn't mean we can't use it at all. While there aren't a lot of great physical electric attacks in the game, Iron Hands can learn more than just electric attacks. Technically, the strongest attack that Iron Hands can learn in terms of pure base power is Focus Punch, but that move requires you to start focusing at the beginning of the turn and wait for everyone else to go. If and only if nobody attacked you for the entirety of that turn, then you can attack. Now, you could make the argument that since Iron Hands is only level 1, its defenses and speed are so low that it would go last anyway, and if anyone targeted it, then it's most likely dead and not attacking, regardless of what move it uses. But Focus Punch still feels to me like it's introducing some element of chance, which I hate, and actually, we don't even need it. Close Combat is slightly less powerful, but still way more powerful than Wild Charge. The problem, though, is that Fighting-type attacks are not super effective against Wiglet, who's a Water-type. But what if it wasn't? What if, say, Wiglet had Ice for its Terra-type, and Iron Hands had Fighting? Then, if they both terrestrialize, suddenly Wiglet is weak to fighting and Iron Hands gets a 2 times boost. On top of that, remember this is a doubles battle. We know that our side has to have a level 1 Iron Hands and a Pokemon that can learn Helping Hand. Our opponent needs a level 100 Wiglet, but that still leaves one open slot. But surely there's no Pokemon we could insert on the opponent opponent's side of the field that could help us deal more damage to their other Pokemon. <laughs> well, guess again. The legendary Pokemon Chien Pao has an ability called Sword of Ruin, which lowers the base defense of all Pokemon on the field, except for Chen Pao, by 25%. It also comes with a disclaimer, uh, caution, this Pokemon is born from a highly cursed object and filled with the hatred of all those who died by the blade. Close contact with it will bring about ruin and misfortune, eh, yeah, yada, 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 yeah, whatever, get in here. Also, yes, I know, this means you'd need to organize this with your opponent beforehand and be working together to make this happen, but I mean, you're trying to one-shot a level 100 Pokemon with a baby. I'm not a miracle worker, figure it out. But with all that, the new typings, the new moves and abilities, is that enough to remove all chance from the equation? Well, there's only one way to find out. On one side, we have a level 1 Iron Hands with full investment in its attack. It has fighting for its Terra-type, the move Close Combat, and is holding a Choice Band. 
It's had its attack raised six times with swagger or something, and an ally just used helping hand on it. On the opponent's side, there is a level 100 Wiglet with zero EVs and IVs in defense, and a nature that lowers defense, and one of these types as its terror type, anything that's weak to fighting, as well as a Chen Pao with the ability Sword of Ruin. If both Iron Hands and Wiglet terastalize, and Iron Hands uses close combat on Wiglet, it will deal a minimum of 172 points of damage, which is enough to guaranteed one-shot the Wiglet, no crits or random rolls required. And there you have it. Yes! A level 1 Pokemon can one-shot a level 100 Pokemon with no luck required. It just goes to show that with the proper planning and understanding, it doesn't matter how strong or old you are, you too can defy destiny, take your fate into your own hands, and conquer a weird sea slug looking guy. Hey, I just wanted to sort of uh, check in, I suppose. I've been doing this kind of hack in to the end of your videos, creepy message, calling you out sort of thing for a while, and uh, you, you haven't really responded or even acknowledged me yet, so I just wanted to, you know, make sure you can, you can actually hear, you can actually hear me, right?